Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm back inside Microsoft Fabric to be specific in the Power BI experience, and I wanna show you Taskflow. Now, what is Taskflow? Taskflow, as you can see here, is uh, also available inside the workspace we are currently in, which is Power BI in Fabric in my case, and it is a way to visually represent the dependencies of the different items in the workspace. Because by default, if I scroll this up, this is what we already had inside Power BI, so in the Power BI service. We can see all the different items in here, um, but of course, the bigger the workspace and the more items are inside the workspace, the difficult or more difficult it becomes to see what kind of items are actually related. Now, in the past, there was another option, which is to take a look at the lineage view for that. So, for instance, if I go up here to the lineage view and click this, I would see uh, dependencies. So for instance, I would see that the here the data flow Gen 2 has various sources and based on the Gen 2, uh, the data is stored in a lake house and the lake house itself is then also used, also the medic model of the lake house, in order to fill or build Power BI reports. Now, this of course was available and it's quite helpful, but now there's a new option called task flows. So let's see how that works. Let's go back to the list view here and then also drag this down. And here, this is the area where we can create those task flows. So the visual representation uh, regarding the dependencies in, the, in our workspace. So to do this, we have two options. We can either create it manually or we can select one of the predefined templates. So let me show you both ways. If I select a template in here, there are various templates, which are these ones. And if I just choose the general one, I could simply select it. You can see that there are nine tasks in total uh, in this. And if I go to select, then this is the task flow which gets created. So there are different kinds of, uh, well, preparation or processes, like uh, here, for instance, get data, uh, or here, store the data, analyze and train the data, if it is related to machine learning, for instance, or prepare the data, or visualize the data. There's also here, for instance, an option. Um, and there's also track and distribute and so on. So you can see that this is already available, and, and now to add items to one of these specific tasks, what we do, for instance, let me show you this for the data, get data here, for instance, we have a data flow, which is called, in my case, GitHub Dataflow. And I could now go in here and say, click on this little icon here. So let me just zoom in a little bit. There it is. So here, I can click here, select it, and then I can choose, I would like to add this uh, data flow to that. And if I select it here, click on this, you see that now, just a second, currently down there, you don't, you don't see any uh, task relation, but if I click on select, you see that now under tasks, the get data task is now mapped to GitHub Dataflow. Um, or the other way around, but, uh, better say the GitHub data flow is mapped to get data. And if I select it, if you click on this, you would filter also the workspace based on the items which are related to this specific task. Um, if you select it, uh, deselect it, click somewhere else again, you see all the tasks again. Right. So this is how we can map uh, specific items in a workspace to a task, and then you have a visual representation up here, and also a way to filter the items you have inside a workspace. Now, uh, the other option, of course, is also that uh, if you want to create a complete new item, you can, instead of using new item button up here, click on this option here and create the new item directly related to this specific task. And there you can see the different kinds of options which would be available uh, for this task here, for instance. And uh, the same is true obviously for the other ones. If you go to a new item here and visualize, you would see items which are more related to visualizing data. Like here you can see reports, uh, dashboards, exploration, scorecards, and so on. So these items here, which are related to this specific task. So um, you can all, you can see the recommend are displayed. You can also use all items just in case you want to map for whatever reason, for instance, a data flow and put this into the visualize area that could also be done. So you're not linked uh, or limited to only those which are recommended, but both of them are available. So let me just close this for now. This is, uh, as you can see here, one option to choose one of the predefined templates and then map your items directly to these te te templates, click on these icons, or click on new item and create a new item directly related to this specific task. The other way would be that, let me just click on the trash icon here and get rid of all of them, delete. You see that now I'm back on the original workspace without any kind of tasks. And instead we could create your, our own tasks. So if you go to add a task, then you can choose which kind of task you want. And let's say in our example, I would like to have here uh, also the get data task first. So go to get data. And now I have here my task. I would like to clear the filter for now here. And I like to add items. So instead of using new items, I click on this little icon here and say, I'd like to add the GitHub data flow. And also for instance, this example data flow, which we created also as well. And then I click on select. And now both of the items are linked to this specific get data task. And let me drag this to the left and then go here and select the next task. 
So uh, go to add here and say, now I want to store my data, go to store data. Now I have my store data task here. Uh, so let me just drag this here like that. Also remove the filter. And then I say, I'd like to actually add to the store data, my lake house. So go here and say, this is actually belonging to the lake house. And you might also think uh, actually uh, here transactions, which is also actually related to the lake house because it's a subset uh, semantic model based on the uh, default semantic model of the lake house, right? So I can also add this here and then I click on select. And now all these items are under store, right? So that's the second one. And then also a third one, go to add. And then in this case, it's visualizing. So I go to visualize data, click this option here. And also drag this in here because the workflow is actually from the left uh, to the right, I would say that. So like that, for instance, uh, okay. No, not here, like that. And then I could say for visualizing, I go to the cell icon here again. And in this case, I go to my report section. So actually it's inside the reports and actually are all of those. So I can select all of them uh, like this. And then if I click on select, now all of those items, you can see also the items. These are four items, two items here, four items here. These are now related to the visualizing part, which are part of the report section here. And you can see that all of them are uh, here linked to that. So uh, that is that. And then finally, of course, to see the task uh, flow. Um, so it's not only task, it's task flow, meaning that we can connect uh, the get data is going to the storing the data. And then storing the data is also linked here to visualizing the data, right? So that's how you can create those connections between those items here and drag them up here. So as I said, this is a way to visually represent the items you have inside your workspace. So in the past we had the lineage view for that, but inside here, the, the table view or the list view, there was no option uh, to really group those together. Uh, there are no new options to, uh, with which we have. Uh, we have the option to create folders now up here and, and store, for instance, different files which all belong together inside different folders. And now we also have this visually here, this option with the task flow, which allows us to add um, tasks to uh, to new task items here, or also to use one of the default templates, and then also um, have the option to click on those and filter what's in the workspace. So this is also available now in here. So that's it about task flows, how you can create them, how you can use default templates, and um, there, how you can use this inside the Power BI service, or in this case, inside the fabric, in order to filter the different items. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you've got questions, let me know. Otherwise, please try it out yourself and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.